Hello everyone, it is Devan Edwards, aka Devan the Connector, connecting you to the knowledge that will empower yourself. Just coming live, haven't been live for a while. Um, let me just adjust this phone. Currently in the kitchen because it's the qu most quiet place at this moment and the least the least hot hot place. Because as you know, it is very humid in UK right now. Summer's here, you know what I mean. So. But I want to ask you a question. Are you up for the challenge? And you might be asking yourself, what's the challenge, Devan? What's the challenge? The challenge is to challenge your mind towards better health. And how do you do that? Well, we're going to go into that. I'm going to give you like four ways. And I just want to start off by saying our mind, the brain within our, within our bodies is a muscle. Just like every part of our body has muscles. Our brain is a muscle, the most important muscle actually, because it requires the most energy. And it's a muscle and you have to keep it in top shape and exercise it every day to be able to approach life in a less stressful way, to handle life in a, in a more efficient and effective way. And evidence has suggested that Mental stimulation improves brain function and reduces the risk of cognitive decline and related diseases. Because, you know, the mind is connected to both body and spirit. So, anything that happens with our mind will translate within our nervous system to different parts of our body. And it can manifest as diseases, you know, um, in different ways. And the preservation of the mind is so important... Um, for overall health and we're going to get into that we're going to get into i'm going to share some some daily brain exercise that you can implement not try not do implement or should implement and do but you can implement like today and get your get your brain uh, rewiring um get some clarity some focus some more focus some more awareness and the first step would be don't mind me i'm in the kitchen right now don't mind the back of the background noise but the first thing you can do is read. Yeah, read. Anything you like. Um, because reading actually stimulates the brain to analyse words and focus on creating a storyline and images that go with it. So imagine you're reading like a... You, it could be anything you like. But I would personally say read something that's in alignment with a passion of yours. So let's say... Um, you like music or you like, I don't know, it could be anything, in music or you like celebrities or you like this certain trend, seek to read in a way where it's not going to like, where it's going to inspire you, but it's going to engage you and really allow you to like, think about what you're reading and really um, visualize it. Because I mean, yeah, you, you can read like, for example, I read like um, comics or uh, manga, but I also read like personal development books where they give like accounts like The Power of the Subconscious Mind by um, Joseph Murphy. He gives accounts of like different people and how they use their mind to like get through situations or, or and navigate navigate their life. And like it really opens up your mind to like, oh, what's the possibilities that's available to, the, to us in, in this world and stuff like that. And also like ancient spiritual texts and stuff like that. That really de definitely engages my brain to like know that there's more to what we what we just seeing with our physical eyes. So that's number one. Read, read, get a book. Tell me what you're about to read. All right, put it in the comments below, or what you are reading currently. Number two is learn something new. Learn something new, and activities can be such as like learn a new language. Learn a new dance, go on your go on, go on your, your favourite TikTok dancer, try to learn the moves. I mean, it, the, the process of learning that in itself is going to not always going to help you physically, but it's going to help you mentally because it'll help you learn something you really didn't expose you to something that you never really knew or your brain didn't even know that was possible for you. And basically, exposing yourself to new, to new situations or, or these kind of novelty things. It will help your brain like rewire every single day and get the, the neurons firing pretty much and stim stimulate those neurons. 
and by stimulating those neurons you have a better functioning brain pretty much and number three is probably, probably my favorite currently my favorite and that will be to try out my my company's cts 90 powered by a company called neurotracker and let me show you these what are those what are those they say what are those these are 3d glasses that go along with um the software i use it's called neurotracker but pretty much is a is a cognitive brain training is a cognitive so the cts90 stands for cognitive training system because it's, again this is a system a software which is proven to build build a better brain in 90 minutes and i personally seen scores where i've improved my overall cognition which is um in terms of brain function and whatnot by over 109 and it's a, it's a it's fun because again you can train your brain just by dedicating literally just six minutes a day by using this with this groundbreaking system and pretty much what you do is there's little um balls on the screen and you have to follow the targets um and basically each level each level of um, engaging with those targets it challenges you in the sense that it adapts to how you adapting so when you get a better the, the system gets better and then it helps you to really gain more attention more focus more situational awareness and for me it personally improved my like multi-switch and multitasking abilities so um if you if you're if you're interested in the the cts90 um message me dm me or, co or comment more info as well and number four number four is that's another favorite actually play some games and solve some puzzles pretty much so one 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 game i've actually wanted to always like really sit down and chess and all them other other games but chess if you're a chess fan like i've always been fascinated with chess so i, I that's something i want to learn uh puzzles i love puzzles sudoku sudoku whatever you call it and um like any type even actual physical puzzles like putting the pieces together like it's very refreshing and on a scientific level on scientific level of that like challenging your brain to to use like some type of reasoning and solve problems helps improve your motor and your logical skills so not only the cts90 as i showed you like the, the neuro tracker but even games such as chess and stuff like that that can actually help you with your translate into real life in terms of making better decisions and um knowing where to direct your focus and seeing the, the things within within our mind or within our health as well which actually matter and which need exercising you know what i mean um so again staying sharp and staying focused is so important even in the time where we're living because when the times we're in are uncertain externally we have to become certain internally okay i'm gonna say that again when the when things around us are uh, uncertain externally we have to become certain internally and that means a stronger mind body and spirit so i encourage you to challenge your mind let me know which of these um four challenges that you that you that you want to implement today um could it be is it number one reading number two learning something new number three trying the cts90 powered by neurotracker or is it number four play some games and solve some puzzles so if it's all four put all four below if it's just one of those put one of those below one two three or four just let me know in the comments below and i'll see you on another live i'll see you on another post i'll see you later all right this is the van edwards ak the van the connector connecting you to the knowledge that will empower yourself take care and just remember the connection continues. Take care.